Mr. Sibal, you announced the schemes that you've announced. Uh, Mr. Rajay announced and explained why those announcements haven't translated no, into reality. No, that's not true. That's ground. not true. Take the right to education. Why is it not translated? It's fully translated on the ground. Your primary education rate has gone up to over 100 percent as the dropout rate has come down. And hopefully, if the right to education is extended to even higher secondary, you'll, your gross enrollment ratio. Let me give you a small example. Your know, gross enrollment ratio was 12.4% in 2009. It is today 19%. And that's the official figure. That means more and more people are going to university, which means more and more people are going to class 12. So where is the question of dropout when your gross enrollment ratio has risen from 12.4 to 19% in precisely five years? And by 2020, this will be over 30%. This is a great achievement. If you talk about Mandrega, if there is no labor, how has food production gone up from 203 million tons to 263 million tons? It's because of absence of labor. I'm not saying that there are no problems on the ground, but let's not just, just wish away the facts. If there is no labor, how has the agricultural production gone up to 263 million tons? It's a record production. If it's right to food, right to food, I think it's absolutely necessary. And if you are giving it one rupee, don't criticize us giving it at three rupees. If your states are giving it at one rupee, why are you saying we are, should be, not be giving it at three rupees? I don't understand that criticism. Okay, Mr. Rajiv wants to come. I'll explain why. When we're already giving it at one rupee, why are you wasting the nation's money? Why are you taking away the state's money? Because give us back our money. You don't need to duplicate the scheme. No, there are many because, states which don't give it at one rupee. No, because, well, one size doesn't fit all. And that is my whole uh, critique. I say that what Assam needs and what Rajasthan needs are very different. And sitting in Delhi, you cannot know that the bijli going to the dhanis or the muhallas of the city, like say, Assam, costs you maybe one lakh of rupees. But if I had to take it to the Dhanis of Rajasthan, it will cost me 10 lakhs of rupees. So it has to be treated differently. And the treating differently can only be done by the state because your job is to sit in Delhi and compute the figures. You don't know what is actually happening down at the level. Because the country has grown from 10 to 100, let's just say. So naturally things will grow. But that is despite and in spite.